Oh, yeah, here we go. I've got a terrible piece. It is terrible. This is called uh, The Day Truth Came to the World. I was visited by a leprechaun. He arrived by saucer, no cup in hand. Landed in my backyard. Destroyed my veggie patch. He apologised to me and gave me a wish. He had sitting around in the cargo hold of his ship. Well, I began to complain. Demanded to know why I wasn't getting free. He laughed and told me, your veggie patch was three quarters dead and you're kidding yourself if you think that's worth more than one wish. I kicked the radiated dirt, all that remained on my veggie patch, and I grudgingly took the wish. I had to think, six cigarettes, a hamburger and tea later. I then made my wish. I wished for all politicians and diplomats to always speak the truth. Leprechaun nodded his head, and then he flew off. In the days that followed, not much had changed, until a report on the news came. The UN Assembly was in disarray. The place had become one continuous, all in brawling blue. The Taiwanese, a Taiwanese diplom diplomatic observer was asked by a gag or microphone truncheon holding correspondence what he thought about what was occurring before his eyes, all he did was smile and replied. It made him feel like he was back home once again. You know what? The days that followed, things got worse. Israel and Palestine declared peace. Together they went to war against Egypt. Egypt declared war on Peru. Peru declared war on the Easter Islands. I mean, it was friendly neighbouring nations at war with each other as diplomats died by their thousands. David Avonborough tried to start a campaign to save the diplomats from extinction. Everyone ignored him and pronounced him a madman. Things did not improve. Politicians began destroying their own political parties. Every level of government across the world was at war, country versus country. City versus country. City against city. And state against state. Provinces at war with provinces. Councils at war with councils. When the council workers stopped slipping on their shovels, of course. People across the world started crying out for help when a woman in Nepal caught the leprechaun, found out about the wish I had, word travelled across the globe to my door, and right for it too. I was dragged out and forced to recant my wish. The leprechaun had a barrel to his head. He kindly granted me another. A wish the speechwriters and politicians had devised. I was given a statement of a wish to read out. With the world me media beyond the desk I was sitting at. There I was with black eyes, swollen and swollen lips. I read. I wish that all politicians, diplomats and people across the world be able to lie whenever they choose. With one exception. That being me. I will always have to speak the truth. After that they dragged me away. To bait me. No, I meant to bury for me. In the end, the leprechaun was put in the freezer, sent off to stay in Area 51, and I was forced to become a presenter on the home shopping channel until the day I die. What a life. That was a lie. There you go.